since I just proved that the one inch thin wall overflow could not handle 600 gallons an hour and would in fact overflow the tank I figured I'd do another and prove that this overflow which is made from one and a quarter inch PVC can easily flow 600 gallons an hour so uh, before anyone gives me any shit, those two pumps, the back one is 430 gallons an hour. That, <laughs> that little funny uh, power head delivers 170, measured pouring over the rim of the tank. So 430, 170, that's 600 gallons an hour. So um, 3 quarter inch return line just for the front pump three quarter inch return line for the 430 gallon an hour main pump which comes down there and enters the tank there the hundred and <laughs> the 170 gallon pump which hooks to that which is valved off right now comes up it discharges right there right now in that white uh, 45 degree L um, I'll talk about this in another video oh my god is that handy anyway I'm gonna pause this so right now it's running at 430 gallons an hour and I've got my weir set high first thing to note is that the water is running right at the bottom of the black trim okay that's where I like to run it second thing to note the weir at 400 <laughs> oh, I'm winded and 30 gallons an hour kind of hard to tell but the water is about uh, two and a half inches down from the top of the blue ring right the water is dropping about two and a half inches as it and inside the weir <laughs> I don't know how to word that so the overflow is offering almost or offering minimal resistance at 430 gallons an hour things will change at 600 gallons an hour so I'm going to pause this and put it on the tripod <clears throat> okay so I'm going to get my finger in the way I'm going to plug the uh, smaller pump the front pump its cord into the extension and then I'll open the valve while you watch. Hang on. Okay, the pump's running. I'm going to open the valve and then we'll see what happens in the sump. I'm going to zoom in. So the water level in the sump is starting to drop as it pumps more water up top because with this overflow it will take a little more head pressure to increase the flow from 430 to 600 gallons an hour. So I'm going to give it just a second to, to settle down to finish pumping up top what it's going to pump up top got to remember this is flowing 600 gallons an hour up top right now which is actually kind of quite, quite a bit uh, the inlet chamber is filled to the top and over spilling into the uh, skimmer chamber how much full it is but that's because I've got such a thick bed of uh, floss You know, got a five inch thick bed of floss. Oh, ain't she pre Ooh, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to pause this for about one minute. Okay, that's about as much water as it's going to pump up top. It's stabilized 600 gallons an hour. The water 
was running <laughs> where's my finger right there at um right at that black line right there so that's about uh a little under two gallons it pumped up top before it stabilized at 600 gallons an hour so I'm going to pause you again we'll walk up to the tank and see how uh, full it is and see what the the weir looks like okay things might get a little shaky here again uh, if you watched the last video you may have noticed that I had to keep adding water to the sump. Oh boy, I'm letting it uh, pump up top. Oh, I cannot. This light's screwing me. Nope, that didn't do it either. Darn it. Anyway, that's good enough. I had to keep pouring more and more and more water. I poured six gallons into the sump before it pumped all that up top, and it was going to go over the top before I stopped. Then I stopped the test. Kind of hard to see, but. You, you'll see the tip of my thumb when it touches the water. There. That's how far below the rim it's running with that one and a quarter inch PVC Duracell overflow right there. Not even close. It's handling that just fine. And if you look at the weir, it's fuller. But the water inside the weir still isn't as high as the uh, aquarium water surface. So that overflow is working dandy at 600 gallons an hour. And that's proof right there. Thanks for watching. I, I wanted to show has. people. And I uh, forgot. So I'll edit this on. Was how high the water rose at 600 gallons an hour. So you can see it's still running at 600 gallons an hour, right? Okay, um, if you look up here, it's kind of hard to get it. If you look at the rim, the black rim at the top, the back piece, you can see the water levels about uh, maybe three sixteenths of an inch above that, right? It's right there. The water level is right there, just above the bottom of that trim. So I'm going to pause this and we'll let it, uh, we'll pause this. I'm going to uh, shut down the front pump and reduce it to 430 gallons an hour. You see, there's very little difference okay. in water height. It's back yeah. running at 430 gallons an hour, which is where I'm going to run it. Once I get this thing in the house, the water up top is drained back down, the sump is filled back up. The inlet chamber is running a lot more sanely no longer bubbling over into the next chamber. Um, okay, so I dropped the flow rate from 600 just a moment ago, back down to 430. And you can see the water is running. Now, maybe you can't see, the water is running right at the edge, the bottom edge of the trim. Yeah, there you go. You can see right at the bottom edge of the trim. And if you look in the back, the water is running about a sixteenth of an inch above that trim. Before it was three sixteenths of an inch, now it is one sixteenth. That means the water rose only an eighth of an inch. With that overflow, the water rose only an eighth of an inch when going from 430 to 600 gallons an hour whilst both the schedule 40 and the thin wall schedule 80 overflows cannot handle that even the thin wall one which is the better of the two try to flow 600 gallons an hour through that I proved it in the last video it's going over the edge it's going onto your floor anyway Later. Stop.